Prince Harry is likely to be very concerned for the Queen amid her current health woes, according to a royal commentator, while royals remain tight-lipped on Her Majesty's well-being. No member of the royal family has publicly spoken, either during an engagement or via a statement, about the Queen's health and her ongoing battle with COVID-19. Individual royals remained tight-lipped also after it emerged earlier this month Prince Charles I and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, later, had tested positive for the virus. News the Queen got COVID came amid a wider public concern for her health. In October, it was announced the monarch had decided to follow her doctor's advice and temporarily cut back her royal duties. On the day she cancelled her planned two-day trip to Northern Ireland, the Queen was taken to hospital to run some preliminary tests, it was later revealed. However, the results or nature of these analyses were never disclosed. The Queen has since limited her royal work to her daily duties as a sovereign and engagements behind palace walls, including meeting with foreign dignitaries. Following a period of rest during the Christmas holidays, on February 5, the eve of the beginning of her Platinum Jubilee, she appeared on Sparkling Form as she hosted a reception at Sandringham House for local charities. While she was using a cane, the Sovereign walked around the ballroom at her Norfolk home to speak with several guests and cut a cake. The monarch, who was first seen using a light walking stick for comfort during an engagement at Westminster Abbey four months ago, received guests in person again last week, after travelling back to Windsor Castle. However, this time she sparked concern after cheerfully admitting to her two guests, the incoming Defence Services Secretary Major General Eldon Miller and his predecessor Rear Admiral James MacLeod, she couldn't move while gesturing at her feet before shuffling towards them for a handshake. Amid these health woes, one royal commentator believes Prince Harry will likely be concerned for his grandmother. Author Katie Nichol told magazine, the Queen is 95, and she's obviously feeling the strain of losing her husband, as well as her advancing age. On a personal level, I think Harry will be very concerned for his grandmother's health. Prince Harry relocated to the US in late March 2020 with his family. But he has stressed multiple times his bond with the Queen has remained strong. He told Oprah Winfrey during the Sussex's joint interview in early 2021, My grandmother and I have a really good relationship and an understanding. And I have a deep respect for her. She's my colonel-in-chief, right? She always will be. Speaking to his friend and TV host James Corden for a special episode of The Late Late Show in February 2021, the Duke of Sussex also revealed the Queen sent across the pond a waffle maker as a Christmas present after discovering her great-grandson Archie Harrison wanted one. The Queen also publicly expressed her affection for Harry after his decision to step down as senior royal, saying in multiple statements the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their children remain much-loved members of the royal family. Buckingham Palace announced on Sunday the monarch is experiencing a mild bout of Covid. The statement said the Queen is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms and will continue to carry out light duties from her home in Berkshire over the coming weeks. It added, she will continue to receive medical attention and will follow all the appropriate guidelines. The monarch showed she is keen on carrying on with her work just hours after Buckingham Palace's announcement when she issued a congratulatory message to the Team GB curling teams who gained one gold and one silver medal on the closing days of the Beijing Winter Olympics. Prince Harry's royal security lawsuit against the British government could leave him more at risk. The Duke of Sussex is suing the UK Home Office for removing his police protection detail on visits to Britain, which he argues makes it unsafe for him, his wife Meghan Markle and their two children to visit his home country. However, the government department hit back in a strongly worded court filing that hinted his legal action may be making his own situation worse not better.